No more than a week after his death, Liza Minnelli has been forced to deny calling her ex-husband David Guest an a-hole. Um, as some, I know, as some gossip columnists have suggested. So it's got us thinking. When, if ever, is there ever an OK time period, is it OK to speak ill of the dead? <laughs> well, she was really rude about him while he was alive. So, although she says she didn't say it when he d is dead, it would be consistent with what she'd said. And, you know, they had a very, very tempestuous uh, relationship. But it got me thinking about someone, you know, often when people die, we slightly airbrush what they were really like. We view them with rose-tinted eyes and we forget, you know, all the things about them perhaps we didn't like in the first place. And a really good example of that is Jade Goody. Now, when Jade Goody was on TV, she made her name and hit the headlines for making racist comments. And obviously, later, she apologised and she got cancer and, you know, and she was incredibly brave. But, when it, but, but by the time she died, mm. all the tributes to her seemed to forget and almost airbrush out what she'd been like in the first place. Mm. So, you know, we do tend to do that. But one <coughs> person that didn't happen to was Maggie Thatcher, because when she had the state funeral, when her coffin was taken through the streets of London, there were, prote you know, protests yes, and it was shown yeah. on television. And I was in two minds about it because she was a really controversial person and people felt really passionately about her. Mm. And I wondered, you know, at a funeral, was a funeral the right place to make that no, sign? I think that's protest? disrespectful because her family are there as well. Yes. That must be, mm. you know, so I, I would think that would be disrespectful. Do, do you think but, that's right what Janet said, that sometimes we do tend to... Oh, Focus on just one aspect of someone's life. I Surely think, that's a mark think, of respect, though. Well, no, it is, and it's lovely. Obviously, you know, it's it's lovely to remember everything good about them, and yeah. and we all want to do that. But it's when people make things up about them as well. When they go, oh, and do you remember? Do you remember when she did this? And you're sitting there thinking, no, no. <laughs> no she yeah. really never did that. You know, she she wasn't a saint. She was yeah. just a human being. But I think, I like. I don't like it when people wait till someone dies before they slag them off or whatever. I think I'm probably like you. I would say it to their face or say it to them anyway. I wouldn't just wait till they're dead. <laughs> would you? And, and by that token, do you think you're being more genuine? So would you would you say lovely things to in the same way that you would say lovely things to someone to their yeah. face? Do you think? We've done all right. Yeah, don't be two faced. To I mean, there's a couple of people now I wish were dead, and they know it. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no, it's true though. They don't, I'm not going to say names because I get into trouble. But there are a couple of people I so wish were dead, and they know it, and I've told them. Oh, so, that... well, I wouldn't wish anyone dead. But if oh, I don't I do. really like, well, if I don't really like someone, they certainly know because Jeremy Clarkson, for example. <laughs> He knows how I feel about him because yeah. I ran into him at a party a few years ago and I found myself being nice and speaking to him and I suddenly went, oh, 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 I can't <laughs> believe I'm speaking to you, I hate you. <laughs> But, you know, I mean, I've, I've been, to, you know, by the time you get to our stage in life, you have been to, to various funerals, and I've been to some which were incredibly emotional and talked of all the wonderful things, quite rightly, yes. that people have done in their lives, but I've also been to some where I've barely recognised who they're talking about. Mm. And, uh, and that has left me feel quite uncomfortable as I was driving away, thinking, you know, like you said, yeah. that talking about things that I don't remember happening. However... Do, do you think that maybe a funeral isn't necessarily the right place to bring up something bad about someone well, while me, they're... Let know, me tell in... you, Andrew, what happened to me, one of my ex-husband's mother, so one of my many mother-in-laws, <laughs> died. This is a woman, I admit, we didn't get on very well, but I attended the funeral out of respect. And I was sitting there, and during the eulogy, the person giving the eulogy actually said... And the, the, uh, he was going through all her good points and, you know, giving a really good tribute. And then he suddenly said, a particularly low point in her life was when her son married Janet Street Porter. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Even from the grave, that witch has got her own back. She was in the casket oh, going... Oh, yes. <laughs> I do think it's important to tell people now how you feel, though. I think we in all a nice leave way. it. Yeah, I think when people pass, you think, why didn't I tell them yeah. that yeah. before they die? But it's why the same if you've got something good to say. Them? Like, if you, like, love someone and want to tell yeah. them... I think it's always good to be well, honest. Well, can I just say, I got a text off my eldest boy last night, completely out of the blue. It was about 8 o'clock at night, and he put... Um, Hi, Mom, just wanted to tell you that I love you. Aww. I know it was lovely, but at the time, I texted <laughs> back and put, why? <laughs> 
what's brought this on and are you very drunk? Yeah, that's, that's are you doing the same? Exactly. But it made my life. Yeah. You know, it really did make my day, really. It, it's mm. interesting, after listening to your story, there's a, you know, nev never mind people saying nice things about you when it's your moment, mm. you, you know, and the casket's going through. Wouldn't it be nice to do a video message or something I'm from your deathbed? <laughs> saying, and I never liked you, and I never liked you. <laughs> Definitely. Um, we've had an anonymous Facebook comment. I can see why this is anonymous. When my mother eventually dies, I'm not going to pretend she was a nice person and a good mother. I'll be singing Ding Dong, the witch is dead. <laughs> oh. Crikey. Love it. Right. <laughs> it's Janet's theme tune. <laughs> if you thought that got heated, wait until you watch these and click here to subscribe. You may as well. It's totally free. He sat on television and said that he's had sex with Linda's ghost. Mm. It's outrageous. Mm. It's and, and in my opinion, really it's outrageous. And, and, you know, I... I used to know Linda very well and I used to look after the boys when they were when they were very small and um, she adored those children and I think I feel from what I knew of Linda that she would have been horrified 